Welcome back, enthusiasts of everything. This is the Sob Life here, or Doc Sob, and I just wanted to show you something quite interesting I've been witnessing for quite a few, uh, maybe two or three months since I had it, since I had uh, this particular fish. Right now I have a completely, completely black uh, 125 gallon fish tank that I got uh, six months ago or so <clears throat> and it came with a few fish but they either uh, they one of them yeah one of them died off during transportation <laughs> and the uh, other ones I had to sell because they were getting too aggressive with each other and I didn't I didn't want to see them keep doing that so I had to get rid of them but I wanted to show you something. Here's a few of my fish I have right now. I have some uh, Basami rainbow fish and a few uh, live plants in there. And I guess I know it needs to be cleaned, but I do do water changes quite frank frequently. And this is what turns out about after a week or so because of this giant fat ass right here. I got them because there's extreme amount of um, algae growing on the tank. You see a little bit right there. He does he does do quite a good job of actually cleaning the tank. It's just a uh, it's his byproduct, <laughs> and there's just such a large amount of it all the time. But the main show is what I wanted to get to is is this my uh, giant clown knife fish it's not the ro uh, royal kind but this guy is uh, this is like one of my favorite fish I had so far yes he doesn't do very much he likes to I don't know if it's he or she or anything I call it a he just because it's simpler but he doesn't really do much I, I know I knew that getting him I quite liked him and he, uh, um, he is nocturnal, I remember that, and I was wondering what that sound was, that's my phone, a text message, but yeah, he's, he's really nocturnal, and why I'm recording this is because I did a lot of research on him, I did a couple, <clears throat> maybe about a week or so of research on him and he um, is not known for eating this one particular type of food I have and ever since I got him I've been feeding them um, <clears throat> um, mysis shrimp that's what it is and I only have a few of those left I used to get the really high quality ones <clears throat> I want the best for everything I have so I get the so I get the best and well my, some people might consider blood worms is the best but I like um mice shrimp so I've been getting I've been getting that and then I started running out of it and I couldn't go get any anytime soon so I got some um, well, just because of the sucker fish, there's not too much um, algae in here. But, do the sucker fish, and I got, I didn't get some, but I had some. But I had some of these, uh, this. This is what I got recently. But it's the same stuff, it's just it wasn't pro. I mean, I got this for the uh, sucker fish. My pleco right there. And I had some... Just plain old, uh, I guess, goldfish uh, pellets or something like that. But my thing is, though, like these, I mean, you have the picture plecos and bottom feeders and stuff like that. But when I put these in there, and I didn't notice for quite a while, well, I do, I, I noticed it when I got these, but when I had the other bag, which was. 
I had two of them. One was half full and one was the, uh, one was, um, uh, full. I started noticing, like, I go around and I see him swim around at night when all the lights are off, or at least some of them would be. I see him swimming around, and I notice out of the corner of my eye, I see him eat something. So I go over and check, and I see him actually eat this, eat the uh, algae wafers, and I'm like, no way! I didn't think I would see him eat algae wafers. And I was like, I was like, well that's cheap because the mice shrimp is a, uh, I usually get like the one pound or something bag of it. It's like, it's frozen. I get the larger bag out of the two they have. Well, I get the biggest one that they I could get at my local fish warehouse. And yes, it's an actual like fish warehouse. Like, you know, where, um, the, uh, tanked people get their fish from. In the shows, they have the giant warehouses just rows and rows and rows of fish. That's where I got everything here besides the decorations. And I actually found these in the backyard. I cleaned them up and everything like that. And they're in there for a month or so. Doing quite well. I got everything. Plants. Fish. Minus the gravel and all the equipment. Just I got all the live stuff. And this guy right here is... It surprised me this 18 inches long the tank is is 18 inches long um, not long but wide and he's 18 inches long and you can kind of well he's not doing it now but you see his face is really close to there and the tank is around 18 to 19 inches wide I just wanted to share that with you because I never actually it doesn't anywhere where I read upon or any forms or anything like that where this this guy right here can well eat algae wafers if you get them young you can train them to eat like a uh, premium pellets and stuff like that but not algae wafers and this guy he eats them maybe I'll make a a video tonight or something like that when um, everything gets turned off and I, you can see, I can show you proof that he'll eat them. But as you know, he's nocturnal. He's not going to move unless... He does move very once in a while when the sucker fish here goes... He likes to hide here as well or behind there. And whenever he moves and swims back here, he kind of gets kind of skittish a little bit and moves over to the back over here or over here. But um, I'll be back in a couple hours and show you that uh, he'll eat them if I can get it on camera if you can see I don't know maybe well um anyways I would like to I'll show you uh, him later which will be a couple of seconds from now so uh, I'll see you then alright guys well we're back here I just dropped in some of these uh, uh, algae pellet things algae wafers and it's literally only been like 30 seconds or so after I dropped him in. And he tried to, he started to go after him. He is moving, which is pretty surprising. And here he comes around the corner. I like how he just like peeks around. And then sometimes he goes back and goes back in there. But the uh, sucker fish is uh, <laughs> not taken kindly to. Um, to that and he likes to do that a lot he likes to go around and swim around stop there for a minute and then come back come back around but it is <clears throat> still kind of a well in his time it's still daylight but he must be kind of hungry and I want to pull up a chair here and see how long it takes for him to eat this. I don't know if he's actually going to sit here while going to eat while I'm sitting here or not. He usually doesn't. But we're going to uh, <clears throat> maybe take like a time lapse or something like that.
Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that uh, either bunch of jump cuts or uh, a time lapse of the clown knife. Um, doing some feeding on the, uh, let's see there's a piece in his mouth right now that he just got. <clears throat> a piece of uh, the algae as you saw and um, well, I kind of stood there in the background for a while kind of hiding in a corner so uh, he couldn't see me because as soon as I come over here he kind of goes into hiding himself but isn't too much food left but I said just trying to get a point across that the uh, at least some of them eat algae if they want to. Well, eat algae wafers if you uh, prefer to get those. Because the giant bags of uh, mysis shrimp that I get are like 20 something dollars. And these, um, well, they're Plicka wafers. Wafers. Pros. Of <laughs> I can't find any of the regular ones like I had before. Are like 7 bucks. Well, depending on what size you get, those are, I think, uh, around like eight or nine. You get two bags of them, and they last quite a while. I put at least ten of them in there every time. And plus, I mean, if you get food, if you get food um, for a fish, I mean, it feeds this fat ass right here, and it feeds that guy, and this one always it tries to attack him to keep his food. <laughs> But he doesn't, he's not very successful every time. As you saw, because he eats one wafer at a time each time. He circles around to get some more. This is like the most active. See, look, there he goes again. This is like the most active I've ever seen him. Just because, uh, well, I'm not, I wasn't in here the whole time. But, but I'll let you guys go. Leave a comment down if you want to see more of this because, um, he is one of my favorite fish, and he is also a uh, <laughs> not a very um, cheap fish either. At least this particular one, just because he's 18 inches or so long. Is hopefully I got the shot sometimes that that he uh, is quite a very large large fish. See, I kind of had it sitting right there, and you saw how huge he is. But anyways, um. Leave a like and comment down below if you want to see more. And if you like the video, of course, like it, like I said. And subscribe. There's going to be more. Maybe more if you want to see about these fish or not. Or maybe I should get some some more. Or if you like the gaming videos I do or even the car stuff I do. Leave a comment down below of what you want to see more of. And, uh... I guess I'll, I'll see you guys in the next uh, video.